The Giant Cabbage, an Alaska Folktale, written by Cherie B. Stiller, illustrated by Jeremiah Trammell. Moose looked out at his wonderful garden. He had rows and rows of tasty vegetables. The fair starts this week. I need to find my best cabbage for the giant cabbage contest. The vegetables had all grown very large under the midnight sun. Then he saw it. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage he had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, Moose marveled. Why, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. Moose trimmed the cabbage from the plant. He tried to lift the cabbage and load it onto the truck. He pushed and he tugged. He bumped and he shoved. But the cabbage did not move. It did not even budge. Just then, Bear waved hello as she pedaled home from the library. Please come help me load this cabbage, yelled Moose. Bear came right over. She saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage she had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, Bear growled. Why, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. I cannot lift this cabbage alone, said Moose. I will help you, promised Bear. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of the cabbage. They pushed and they tugged. They bumped and they shoved. But the cabbage did not move. It did not even budge. Wolf trotted by Moose's garden on his way to the post office and saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage he had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, Wolf howled. Why, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. We cannot lift this cabbage alone, said Moose. I will help you, promised Wolf. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of Moose. Wolf grabbed hold of Bear. They pushed and they tugged. They bumped and they shoved. But the cabbage did not move. It did not even budge. Fox and Hare jogged down the lane. They stopped when they saw Moose, Bear, and Wolf sitting in Moose's garden. Fox and Hare went over in hopes of a glass of lemonade. But then Fox and Hare saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage they had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, barked Fox. Why, that is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair, said Hare, hopping up and down. We cannot lift the cabbage alone, said Moose. We will help you, promised Fox and Hare. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of the cabbage. Wolf grabbed hold of the cabbage. Fox grabbed hold of the cabbage. Hare grabbed hold of the cabbage. They pushed and they tugged. They bumped and they shoved. But the cabbage did not move. It did not even budge. Old Porcupine waddled along then. She saw her friend sitting in the middle of Moose's garden. Old Porcupine's eyes were not as sharp as they used to be, but she soon saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was almost the biggest cabbage her old eyes had ever seen. Say, that's a pretty big cabbage there. That giant cabbage could win a prize at the fair, Porcupine said. We cannot lift this cabbage alone, complained Moose. I will help you, promised old Porcupine. But first, we need some tools. Old Porcupine sent Wolf to find her toolbox. Bear and Fox found wood for a ramp. Moose found a rope in his garden shed. Hare moved the truck closer. At last, they were ready to try again. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of the cabbage. Wolf grabbed hold of the cabbage. Fox grabbed hold of the cabbage. Hare grabbed hold of the cabbage. And Old Porcupine grabbed hold of the end of the rope. They pushed and they tugged. They bumped and they shoved. And the cabbage began to move. But only a budge. 
Squirrel scampered down from his tree to see what all the fuss was about. He saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage he had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, Squirrel chattered. Why, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. Well, it might be, Bear sighed, but we have not been able to lift this cabbage. Have you tried a stick? suggested Squirrel. I use sticks to move rocks that cover my cache of nuts. The animal friends thought this was a splendid idea. This might be just the thing we need to load this cabbage onto the truck, said Wolf, pulling over a strong branch. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of the cabbage. Wolf grabbed hold of the cabbage. Fox grabbed hold of the cabbage. Hare grabbed hold of the cabbage. Old Porcupine grabbed hold of the ends of the rope. And Squirrel grabbed hold of the branch. They pushed and they tugged. They bumped and they shoved and the cabbage began to move, but only another budge. What we need is just a teeny, tiny, little more of a push, insisted old porcupine. We're tired. We can't push any harder, whined Fox. But the animal friends would not give up, so they sat and they rested. As the midnight sun moved across the sky, little Vole poked her nose out of her burrow. She saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage she had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, Vol squeaked. Why, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. Well, it might be, Moose said, but we cannot lift this cabbage. I will help you, promised little Vol. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of the cabbage. Wolf grabbed hold of the cabbage. Fox grabbed hold of the cabbage. Hare grabbed hold of the cabbage. Old Porcupine grabbed hold of the ends of the rope, Squirrel grabbed hold of the branch, and Little Vole grabbed hold of the last teeny tiny little open spot on the cabbage side. They pushed and they tugged, they bumped and they shoved, then they all pushed a little bit more, and the cabbage began to move up the ramp, ever so slowly, until Curlump! The giant cabbage landed with a thump and a bumpity bump. Hooray, shouted the animals. Then they sat down with a thump and a bumpity bump. We did it, panted Hare. Oh, thank you, my dear, dear friends, cried Moose. Now we can go to the fair. The animal friends scrambled into the truck and thumped and bumped down the road to the fair. At the fair, the giant cabbage rolled slowly back down the ramp and landed with a thump and a bumpity bump right in front of the judges. The judges looked surprised. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage they had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, they marveled. Why, this giant cabbage wins the prize for the fair. Hooray, shouted the animals again. Let's go have fun at the fair. Now we need to get all this fine cabbage home for our supper, said Moose. It's a good thing I brought old Porcupine's toolbox, said Wolf. Soon the giant cabbage was trimmed into a giant pile of cabbage pieces. Moose and Bear grabbed hold of the extra large pieces of cabbage. Wolf and Fox grabbed hold of the large pieces of cabbage. Hare and Porcupine grabbed hold of the medium pieces of cabbage. Squirrel grabbed hold of a small piece of cabbage and Little Vole grabbed the last teeny tiny little piece of cabbage. They pushed and they tugged, they bumped and they shoved, and they plopped the giant cabbage pieces into the back of their truck. Then Moose, Bear, Wolf, Fox and Hare, Old Porcupine, Squirrel, and Little Vole scrambled into the truck, and they thumped and bumped back down the road to Moose's house. Let's make some cabbage soup, suggested Moose. The animal friends ran home. Then they pushed and they tugged, they bumped and they shoved, and they brought things for the soup. Moose dropped in the cabbage and stirred the pot. Bear dropped in potatoes and stirred the pot. Wolf dropped in squash and stirred the pot. Fox and Hare dropped in onions and carrots and stirred the pot. Old Porcupine brought loaves of her freshly baked bread. Squirrel dropped in spices and stirred the pot one more time. And dinner was complete. 
with a yummy berry treat made by their own little vole. The animals danced and sang while the giant soup pot bubbled. Then they ate a wonderful meal of Moose's giant and now prize-winning cabbage as they celebrated their friendship under the midnight sun.